Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. thank you for joining me. I wanted to introduce you to a game I've been having a little bit of fun with, I picked up on Steam, just came out of beta. Actually, I think it's still technically in beta, this is called Desktop Dungeons. It's basically a roguelike uh, desktop dungeon game. It's, it's pretty simple, basically a game takes about 10-15 minutes, that's one of the main ideas behind the game, is that you kind of play it in your free time, and it's not a huge time sink, but you, you can sink tremendous amounts of time into it if you want. I'm just going to do a quick playthrough to give an example. I'm not going to do too much of the tutorial type stuff. Um, I think the game's worth the money. That's probably the best thing I could say at the beginning of this video. Um, I've enjoyed it so far. So let's just start an adventure. Um, we'll do a random run. It's made me into a gnome thief. So there are various classes. We can go look at those. So depending on the, the race that you choose, you get different conversion points. You know, humans get attack bonuses, elves get extra mana, dwarves get more life. You know, pretty pretty lore-like normal stuff. Halflings get potions, gnomes get extra mana potions. So actually, let's choose our own. Let's do like a... Let's do a dwarf. And then I've only unlocked five classes so far. There's lots of them, but... You can do fighters, wizards, sorcerers thieves, priests. Let's just do a good old dwarf fighter, because why not? And then you can do an adventuring kit where you can start with items. I like the idea of starting with a little, little extra sword damage. We can also say that there are fewer glyphs. I'm not going to do this one. We'll just take the sword, and we'll do one playthrough, just to give you an idea what the game's like. So, Northern Lion actually made a really good video about this as well, that kind of described how it works. It's really more of a puzzle game than just a roguelike because every time you explore a tile it ex it reveals some extra area and then you regain health and mana based on the inf like the, the space that's been revealed. So if you reveal the map too quickly then you might not get enough regeneration to kill all of the enemies. So this will give us a little bit more life. We just gained one HP. These are runes. We definitely want to pick those up. Picked up a get in there. A get in there. Grants you first strike in your next combat round. Plus 5% dodge chance. This is a wanna fight. Summons an existing enemy, adding a slow debuff. And gives you bonus experience if you kill it in the first hit. This will give us a little bit more mana. This is apparently the... Uh, there is a god that we can worship there. We should probably go check that out. And we also found some biceps. So this is the Altar of the Earth Mother. You can worship the Earth Mother, and there's various different gods that you can worship. They're all random, so you might find her on the map, you might find another god on the map. I've decided to worship the Earth Mother, and we're not going to do anything with this yet, but we might come back to it. Wow, look at all of these runes, they're right at the start of the map. In fact, I have so many runes that I can't use them all. So we picked up Biceps, boost your next melee attack with a 30% damage bonus. Strike erodes 3% resistances of the enemy, not yourself. And then we've got I'm a Wall. Creates a wall on a dungeon tile. If this targets an enemy, your next kill earns 50% bonus experience. And then this is Burn Day Rays. <laughs> Burn to Rays. <laughs> Burns your enemies for 4 points of magical damage per character level, slowing their regeneration speed. So, we're going to get rid of the, um, I'm, hmm, we're going to get rid of the Wanna Fight. I don't think we really need it. So we're going to convert it, and by converting it, we're going to gain HP, because we are a dwarf. We're going to pick up the Fire one, and I kind of like to have the uh, I'm a Wall first. Bicep second. Let's just do it kind of in that order. So, as a fighter, we have these traits. We get instincts. Monsters of an equal or lower level always have their locations revealed. So these little icons here are revealing all of the level 1 monsters on the map, because I am level 1, so I can see them. I'm a veteran, so I start with one level of the learning buff, and less experience is needed per level. Normally you need 5, 10, 15, 20, etc. Instead, we just need 4 experience to get to level 2. And we also have Pit Dog, starts with a layer of Death Protection. So Death Protection means that one time, just once, we won't get killed when we're fighting an enemy. And then we gain one extra EXP per kill, so that's good. 
The way that experience gain works is if you kill an enemy that's equal level, you gain one experience. If he's lower level, you gain their level in experience. So like, well, for example, if we kill this guy, we'll gain one experience. But because we've got the learning buff, we'd actually gain two. If we killed this guy, you can see that number right there, we'd actually gain five experience because he's higher level than we are. So it's taking level two times two, since he's a higher level, equals four, plus one from the learning buff equals five. Now he'd be pretty hard to kill though, so let's try to decide what to do. Generally speaking, I like to, if the, alt, if the Earth Mother appears, we want to use Entanglement. This is going to cast slow on every enemy on the map, which is really good. And fortunately, we did get it spawned five plants. So I'm going to turn this plant into a, into a rock. I just used I'm a wall. By turning the plant into a rock, I get to proc the bonus 50% experience for killing an enemy unit. So now, if we kill a unit like this, notice how he is level one, but we're going to get three experience from him. Because he's slowed, you get an, an extra one experience as well. So we're just going to kill him. And we'll kill this one too. So we're already two points into level two. Now at this point, it pretty much just makes sense to kill these guys outright. I'm going to get three experience for killing a level one guy, and that's pretty good. And we're already level three. The shop is trying to sell me a tower shield. I don't want that. We've created some blood, so we could go ahead and go in here and do plantation. Plant one plant on each blood stain, plus five piety per plant. Why not? And then we can do vine form, spend some of our piety to it costs five piety each for the first time that you cast it and then plus three more each time after that so this will just increase our max hp by four and give us some damage reduction so we'll go ahead and cast that a couple times now these plants weren't here before but they are now so we're going to use one of them to cast i'm a wall and check out this shop a fine sword is for sale if we had room i would probably buy it I think we're going to sell, or uh, not sell, but convert the Burn Day Rays, because I'm not really a mage, and I kind of want that sword. We do 21 damage per swing. Still can't quite kill it. Look at that. He's got, right, right over here, he's got 22 life. We take him down to 1 on the next swing. So we're going to have to wait to kill him. However, this guy we can kill in one hit. Notice that little swirly thing around him? That's from when I used the Earth Mother to to do the entanglement spell. So this guy would actually give us five experience to kill. Yes, please. That little thing gives us plus 10% damage. Every time I kill a unit, I'm gonna wanna cast I'm a wall on a plant, which actually also gives me piety. For some reason, the Earth Mother likes it when I do that with her, her creatures. And we'll go over here and do it with that one. And there's a pendant for, of health for sale, but we don't have enough money for it. Now, I don't want to kill plants because that would piss off the Earth Mother. She likes me to be nice to plants. That's kind of her deal. We're going to go ahead and cast Clearance because there's a plant. No, actually, I need more plants right now. We'll grow some more plants that way. I don't want to turn that into a wall because then I can't get over there. Let's go explore a little bit more. I could easily kill this guy, but I'd like to use I'm a wall first. See if we can find another plant somewhere. Hey look, it's a goat. It's dead now. And we just went down into a passage. There's a cursed bandit. was this? It's a spoon! By the gods, it's a spoon! <laughs> Venture Cave was the original base of operations of an unknown bandit king who took advantage of the region's politically inst instability to harass locals. The group colla collapsed after their leader was poisoned. So he's cursed. If we were to kill him, killing or being struck by this creature will curse you. Fortunately, the Earth Mother can cure curses, so we'll probably kill him anyway. Um, as far as the 
spoon. I... Yeah, sure. Let's get rid of the getting there. Take the spoon. I love maxing out damage. Because the, the spoon, it's only one damage, but that's base damage. The more bonuses we get, the more significant that'll be. Oh, and actually, shoot, the spoon was a small item. I didn't need to kill or get rid of that item. Oh, well. So, yeah, let's kill you. Now we are cursed. We'll take full damage from all attacks. Remove cursed stacks by killing uncursed enemies. That's fine. We can, we can go talk to the Earth, Earth Mother about it. Right here. Removes curse one. Green blood. In exchange for royal loyal services to the Earth Mother, she'll purge unnaturals, unnatural auras and weaken those who stand against you. Sounds good. Let's cast that a couple times. Now they are corrosioned, meaning that they have an extra damage or two. They take two damage extra right now. Alright, so we can go ahead and cast I'm a Wall on that. Kill the goat. We can cast I'm a Wall on that. And kill the meat man. Pendant of mana for sale. Now, you want to try to kill and, like, get as much experience from these kills as possible. Because there's an end-level boss who's going to be level 10. He's really hard, and if you don't get yourself up to level 10, he will be very hard. Do Plantation again. And actually, we have quite a bit of piety, so let's go ahead and do Vine Form a couple more times. Creates lots more plants in the way. That guy's a bit meaty. Meat men have lots of HP. I actually can't reach him now. And kill that guy though. Now we're level six. Can't quite kill him. I'm looking for people that I can kill in one hit, ideally. Now if we use biceps here, we can probably kill him. Excellent. And we met another plant. Now part of the problem with the Earth Mother is that when you plant all these plants everywhere, they, they get in the way. So now we need to use Clearance. Each time you cast that, it costs more, so you can't do it too often. Unfortunately, that didn't clear one of the plants. It cleared this one, though. Got biceps to kill that guy. Hey, look, we found another I'm a Wall. Since we already have one, we'll just convert the other. And this guy sells potions. Level 8 meat man, pretty big. Hmm. And now the plants, some of these plants I can't actually I'm a wall because they're magic immune. So unfortunately we're going to have to go here and cast clearance again so that we can get through. Now, these guys don't move at all, if you haven't noticed. I mean, you can just do whatever you want. Now, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to cast Plantation again and see if, um, hopefully the trees don't, or the plants don't block my route. Looks like they didn't. I'm a wall that thing. Kill him. We just leveled up again. See, that one's magic immune, so we can't cast on it. This one's not, but if we block him in, I can't get to him. I feel okay with I'm walling that thing. We're level 7 already. And we don't have to maximize every single... Oh! Yikes, didn't mean to hit him. Now when I explore, he heals too. So we don't have to kill every unit, but I do kind of want to kill as many of them as I can. Still haven't found the end boss, actually. He must be up here. Interesting. So what to do? I think we're going to cast some more plantation. There 
really did not cast very many plants, did it? There is a, a glyph that allows you to destroy walls, which can be quite useful. Instead, we need to clearance again. Let's get that plant back out of the way. Now, what I could do is I could just start casting I'm a wall on these guys. But then, you know, the plants don't cost me anything. If I I'm a wall a, an actual character, then I get no experience for killing it. So I think we'll just kill this one. Go to level 8. I'm going to biceps to kill him. Kill him. If we could reach him, we can't. Can't quite biceps to kill him. That's unfortunate. Looks like I'm going to have to just work my way in here. Still haven't found the bad guy. Where is he? Maybe there is no level 10 guy on this map. That's strange. Almost always is. I'm kind of confused by that. Alright, so let's just beat you up. And from here, I think we just kill him. I'm just removing everyone from the map now. And only seven experience from level 10 away, so we did a pretty good job of... Now here, if I actually hit him again, see I have seven life, barely win is because of that death protection. Might as well do it. And there's no one else on the map. I, uh, I don't understand. Oh, there he is. There he is. Okay. You have the suicidal gall to cross my path, challenger. Look well upon me. He's just a, a gob guy. He's got some physical resistance. He's slowed, has corrosion. This would be an example where biceps is good. The 3% erode will take away his resistances. He does a lot of damage, so it's a good thing we have a few potions. I'm not going to wall him. I think we'll convert the wall now. Actually, that one was given to me by the Earth Mother, so I shouldn't have done that. It wasn't worth anything. Let's go ahead and... Get a little bit more of this and this. And now we just duke it out with the bad guy. So we can smack him once. Now, next hit, we're still safe. If I hit him one more time, we're at death. So I'm going to have to use a potion. Two, actually, probably, just to be safe. Two more. And we win! And that's it! That's a run. That's a dungeon, desktop dungeon run. I think it's a great game. I, I have a lot of fun with it. Good way to kill 15 minutes if you're just looking for some fun. And uh, yeah, I just want to introduce you to it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more stuff like this, make sure to leave a comment. Maybe like the video, let me know. Otherwise, this is just a one-time thing. Just wanted to show you what I was playing. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you again soon.